everybody, droidlife.com exclusive, Droid 2. Check it out, new keyboard, puffy keys, sort of a whole new metallic blue look going on. As you can see, it's pretty much identical to the Droid 1, but it's just got that different color in there. Uh, rocker switch, camera button, same spot. Microphone been pushed to the front a little more. Micro USB, same spot. Lock, power button, same spot. Uh, headphone jack, all that good stuff. Uh, pretty much look exactly the same as you can see. You know, it's sitting right next to my Droid 1 down there. Um, no real difference. They did move the soft keys around a little bit. And, of course, they've sort of covered up that weird edge that we had on the Droid 1 in the front bottom part. But otherwise, same exact size. Actually does feel a little bit lighter to me. That could be just because it's new and fancy and flashy. But it actually felt a lot lighter than the Droid 1 and even my Incredible. So that's a good sign. Uh, we're going to boot it up here. This first boot took me a little bit of time, but... We wanted to show you the new Droid, Droid Red Eye. And there it is. Droid 2, Red Eye, you know, every Droid's got its own special Red Eye. So there you go, there's a Droid 2. It's sort of a squared off look. Not really gonna break down that Red Eye, but it's pretty cool. And then after this, we'll just get right into. Um, first thing you'll see here, new lock screen. Um, the Droid X sort of has a custom lock screen and the Droid 2 has its own lock screen as well. I actually thought this was pretty cool, I liked it. so. That's a new change. Um, you'll see right away the uh, live wallpaper in the background is the specific Droid 2 red eye sort of floating around, orange stuff in the background. We will uh, come back to that later. What you really care about is uh, Froyo, right? So comes stock out of the box with Android 2.2. See right there, model number Droid 2, Android version 2.2. So there you go, there's the proof. And uh, let's see, what else do you wanna see in here? SD card, phone storage. Uh, comes preloaded with an 8 gig SD card and also has 8 gig internal so you can load that bad boy up with as much stuff. Uh, battery manager similar to the Droid X but it does have the actual battery meter which is kind of cool. And then let's see, you probably want to see applications. So we got Froyo application style in here with the tabs and sure enough right at the top Adobe Flash Player 10.1. Again preloaded in out of the box you got Flash on there. I'm not going to show it to you, you've seen enough Flash in action. Uh, but yeah, very cool to see that on there. Um, let's see, wireless and networks. Don't believe the mobile hotspot stuff's in there, and no, it's not. It's just that separate um, app that Verizon loaded on there for the 3G mobile hotspot. Not like the uh, you know Droid One, which has tethering built into Froyo, and the Nexus One, which has wireless built in. So there you go, 3G mobile hotspot. You know, it's got all those preloaded apps, including VZ Navigator, which is supposedly going to come preloaded on just about everything now. And uh, yeah, so you can see here it's the same 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 blur skin as we got on the Droid X. And you got that weird launcher thing going down there at the bottom flipping through. Uh, five screens, all the same widgets, same blur effects. It's just Froyo. Um, you can go landscape, slide it open, and then you can get a better look at the uh, that Droid Eye live wallpaper, which is sweet, by the way. It's one of our favorites to date. Um, let's see what else we got in here. just run a couple of benchmarks for you. So Limpack scores, for whatever reason, on um, Texas Instruments processors, not blowing minds like they do on uh, Qualcomm processors. You know, the Snapdragons are getting in the 30s and 40s, and for whatever reason, these TIs sit in the lower teens. So, you know, who knows? That doesn't necessarily mean the phone's slow or runs crappy or anything like that. I mean, it's still an amazing device. So, uh, Let's check out Quadrant, because we all know we posted that Quadrant benchmark um, yesterday and blew everyone's minds. And whoops, tapped on the wrong button. Uh, but those Quadrant, that Quadrant benchmark we posted yesterday was ridiculous. And so let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can match that today. Pull up Quadrant again here. I think we've backed out of that. Yes. And full benchmark. So we'll let this run here. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that benchmark we posted yesterday, screenshot, um, Quadrant blew out every other device on the planet. It was in the 1400s, I believe. Even beat the Nexus 1 running 2.2, which no other device has come close to. And I know everyone's going to you know, yell and scream that their Droid 1 overclocked, beats that, and yada, yada, yada. Come on, people. This is stock out of the box. The whole point is that you don't have to overclock this thing. So nobody give me those excuses down there in the comments. Although I know you're gonna, it's gonna be tough for you not to. So we'll let this finish up, and you can see what our score is.
try to give you a shot of uh, frame rate, except that's not frame rate. So anyway, you get the point. This thing's blazing fast. Um, just playing with it, like I said, the feeling of it overall just felt nicer than the original droid. Actually, I kind of want one, to tell you the truth. Okay, so here we go. So we got 1316, which is just slightly below the next one. So, you know, it's up there with the top dogs. Um, pretty cool, though. Here, here's just a quick uh, quick comparison of the droid one. So you can see the exact same size. You know, we did this in our, in our dummy sort of walkthrough. Remember that dummy phone that we had? So you can see keyboard. The keyboard is so much nicer. No more gold D-pad. Got puffier keys. Same size though as everything. It just runs and feels so much nicer than the uh, Droid One does. Not to put the Droid One down. It's just a, it's an amazing device. We all know it's like the device that you know helped launch Android to where it is today. But this Droid Two is pretty cool. Feels pretty great. Um, here's a camera real quick. You can see the updated software. It's got that whole drag to focus sort of thing going on. Wasn't overly impressed with a couple of shots I took. And, uh, you know, it supposedly takes DVD quality video. You know, I don't really know how you tell that just by taking a quick video. But uh, overall, the software was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, the camera button seems a little bit nicer than the Droid 1, that gold button that used to be kind of sticky at times. Um, this one was, uh, this was pretty good. Overall, my impressions... First impressions of this phone were very favorable. So anyway, check us out the blog, droidlife.com. We're out. Peace.